What's up guys, back here with another video. Today we're gonna get into what's in my camera bag 2020 edition. So just like anyone's camera bag setup, it always depends on where you're going and what you wanna shoot. This camera bag setup is basically just gonna be a go out for a day, you know, you want some drone footage, you want some photos, you want some video, maybe you want some GoPro action. So that's what this camera bag setup is going to be based on. Like I said, it always changes depending on where you're going and what you're shooting. Anyways, let's start with the bag. So the bag that I'm using is a Fast Pack BP250 AW2 made by Lower Pro. And this is the only camera backpack that I own. And honestly, it's served me well. It's been through its tough times and it's still holding up. I do want to upgrade though. I really want to get a bigger bag because all the stuff that I would like to bring, it doesn't really fit in here comfortable. So hopefully I'll be able to get a new bag eventually, but as of right now, it's doing good. All right, let's get in cameras now. What I would usually have in my camera bag is my Nikon D5600. This is great for vlogging with the flip out screen. I have a battery grip on it. That way I can have two batteries instead of one. Now, I really love this camera. I mean, the only bad thing about it is, you know, Nikon isn't really good at autofocusing. So hopefully I can save up for that Sony a7 III or a7 IV. We'll see. Also for an action camera, I have my GoPro 7 Black. I always been a big fan of GoPro. First GoPro I ever got was the GoPro Hero 4. I've had the Session, I've had the 5, I've had the 6, now I have the 7. I've had quite a lot of GoPros and that's because I love them so much. They're small, they're portable, and they're really tough. Like I dropped this one onto concrete and it doesn't even look like it's been dropped on the concrete. So now let's get into lenses. So these are all the lenses that I would usually bring with me. Starting off is the Nifty 50. Always have to have a 50 mil in here. Even though I don't use it as much, it is literally my favorite lens when I do use it. It goes all the way down to 1.8 aperture, so it's super fast and it was really cheap too. Next, we have an 18 to 55 millimeter kit lens. This is a good wide angle zoom lens, you know. You know, it's a kit lens. It's all you can say about it. And then this is my most recent lens I just bought, and that is a 10 to 20 millimeter lens. I really wanted a lens for vlogging, so I picked this lens up by Nikon, and it's a really, really fun lens to shoot on, and I enjoy it so much. Last but not least, always have to have somewhat of a telephoto lens. So this is a 70 to 300 by Nikon, and I've got some amazing photos from it. It's a really good lens. I don't use it that much. Out of all these lenses, I usually just stick with the 10 to 20 millimeter and the 18 to 55 millimeter. That's usually just what I use. So now let's get into my drone. I've gone through so many drones before and by far my favorite drone out of all the drones that I've used has to be this one, hands down, and that is the DJI Mavic Pro 2. This is a beast of a drone. They don't just call it a pro for nothing. It has a Hasselblad one inch sensor on that capable of shooting 4K video and some amazing photos. So I have a little sticker on here and that says QTP and that stands for Quality Touch Productions, which is my business. I shoot weddings, events, all kinds of stuff, you name it. Also, I hate putting my phone right here. So instead, I bought this, it's for an iPad, but hey, I use it for my phone too. It's so much easier than trying to take your case off your phone and then putting it on here. So get yourself this. Also, I have a GoPro USB to USB-C port. That way I can plug the USB port in the back of the remote and then plug this into my phone, which takes USB-C. I don't like using the cables that come with the drone. I just find that this is higher quality. And then the remote, you know, nothing fancy about it. It's a remote. All right, so now let's get into audio. 
for vlogging this has been a great great mic for vlogging and it is the Rode Video Micro really small and it has not let me down since you don't have to use batteries so you don't have to worry about you know having to turn it off or make sure batteries are charged in it so it's just a running gun setup and that's what I like so now let's get into batteries I have this little battery case for all my batteries made by Lightdo, just a little company on Amazon but basically holds all my batteries I like to take all my batteries with me GoPro batteries um, Nikon batteries I like to take all my batteries with me because you never know when you need batteries no batteries no photos no video no nothing and just like how batteries are really important memory is just as important too just like with batteries I bring all my batteries same thing with memory cards I bring tons of tons of space that way when I'm out on the field I have backups on top of backups on top of backups grab yourself plenty of memory cards trust me you're gonna be using them so now a power bank I never use this power bank but it's there when I need it because trust me you always need power so I got this little power bank it was super cheap um, has a solar panel on it so you can charge it by the Sun and like I said haven't had to use it but it's going to save my life when I do have to use it now let's get into cleaning your lenses and your camera body so I can't find my microfiber cloth it's somewhere here but trust me I would have that in my camera bag too all I could find is my lens pen has a little whatever you call that I have no idea and then on the other side unscrew it and then you got a little cloth to clean your lens off get yourself a lens pen I've used this so many times you never want to have a little spot on your lens and then it ruins your shot so yeah that was what's in my camera bag 2020 edition like I said the stuff that's in this camera bag is just to you know go out for a day shoot some video, shoot some photo, maybe some GoPro action, I want some drone video. That's what this is based on. For a travel camera bag setup, it's completely different. You gotta bring chargers. I usually would bring two bodies, two GoPros, two extra batteries for my drone, you know, all that stuff. So if you would like to see what's in my camera bag travel edition, leave down in the comments down below and maybe I will. So. That's going to wrap it up. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you like, subscribe, comment down below, share this video to every single person you know. Anyways, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.